Let's tackle a few <clears throat> common misconceptions related to the California state budget. The first misconception <clears throat> is that budget trailer bills can only be passed in conjunction with the main budget bill. The reality is that budget trailer bills can pretty much be enacted any time after the budget bill has passed, as long as there's a nominal appropriation in the trailer bill and it's tied by language to the budget bill. And this can be done by a majority vote on the floors of the assembly and Senate. Another misconception is that the budget committee chairs introduce the budget bills as a courtesy to the governor. Under Article 4, Section 12C2 of the California Constitution, it provides that the budget bill shall be introduced immediately in each house by the persons chairing the committees that consider the budget. Another misconception is that the governor's May revise provides the only changes to the governor's January 10 budget proposal by the administration. But finance letters are actually revisions to the budget bill proposed by the Department of Finance and provided to the budget committees. Another misconception is that the federal and state governments use the same fiscal year. The 12 month period on which the state budget is planned actually begins July 1 and obviously ends the following June 30th. The federal fiscal year, on the other hand, begins October 1st and naturally ends September 30th of the following year. Another misconception is that budget trailer bills need an urgency clause to take effect immediately. Urgency statutes are generally those considered necessary for the immediate preservation of the public peace, health, or safety. And these measures require approval by a two-thirds vote of both houses of the legislature. Legislature. However, the budget bill and quote unquote other bills providing for appropriations related to the budget bill may actually be passed by majority vote and they still take effect immediately upon being signed by the governor. The last misconception is that the Assembly and Budget and Senate Budget Subcommittees are the same. There are actually six assembly budget subcommittees and five Senate budget subcommittees. The assembly budget subcommittees are number one on health and human services, number two on education finance, number three on resources and transportation, number four on state administration, number five on public safety, and number six on budget process oversight and program evaluation. On the other hand, the Senate budget subcommittees are subcommittee number one on education, subcommittee number two on resources, environmental protection, energy, transportation. Subcommittee number three is on health and human services. Subcommittee number four is on state administration and general government. Subcommittee five includes corrections, public safety, and the judiciary.